When you use a Google service, your information travels over the internet between your app and various points of internet infrastructure until it reaches Google servers. Encryption helps prevent attackers from eavesdropping on internet connections and accessing sensitive content such as your credentials, emails, and other personal data. Do you know how Google encrypts data to keep it safe? Stick around and we'll show you. First things first, what is encryption? Well, it's a mathematical process that takes legible data as input and transforms it so that it's unreadable to unauthorized parties. The encryption algorithm used is public, such as the Advanced Encryption Standard, AES. But execution depends on a key, which is kept secret. To transform it back to its original form, you need to employ the key. Google encrypts your data when it's saved on a disk and when stored on backup media, and this is called encryption at rest. It also encrypts data while it is moving over the internet or traveling between data centers, which is called encryption in transit. Starting with data at rest, several layers of encryption are deployed to protect users' data. Data is split into chunks. Each chunk is encrypted with a unique data encryption key. These keys are stored with the data and encrypted inside of Google's central key management service. Google's key management service rotates keys at least as frequently as 90 days, so in the very unlikely event that a key were compromised, it won't remain valid for very long. How about a real-life example to put all of this into context? Let's say a video is uploaded to Google Drive. That video will not be stored entirely in a single server, but instead will be broken up into chunks, and then copied for availability and performance. Each of these chunks are encrypted and have their own unique identifier. Each piece is then stored across multiple servers. As for data in transit, Google applies several security measures to help ensure the authenticity, integrity, and privacy of data in transit. Depending on the connection that is being made, Google applies default protections to data in transit to a Google data center. For example, communications are secured between the user and the Google front end using TLS, which is a cryptographic protocol. Data is encrypted and authenticated in transit at one or more network layers when it moves outside the physical boundaries of a Google data center. Customers in Google Cloud, for example, may have additional requirements for encryption of data, especially in highly regulated industries, and they have additional options such as managing their own encryption keys. And because computers get better and faster, it becomes easier to perform the complicated mathematical computations needed to break encryption. Even the mathematics behind this process, known as cryptanalysis, can improve over time, making it easier to break encryption. And so to keep pace with this evolution, Google has a team of world-class security engineers tasked with following, developing, and improving encryption technology. Our engineers take part in standardization processes and in maintaining widely used encryption software, such as Boring Crypto, an SSL library in Chrome, Chromium, Android, and a number of other apps and programs. We regularly publish research in the field of encryption so that everyone can benefit from this shared knowledge. If you want to learn more, check out the links below and stay tuned for more on discovering data centers.